All right, this is also a very important lesson, so pay close attention. We will fight with the timing now. In PowerPoint, timing of a video depends on two things. One on its transition duration, which you can find here in the timing section, and two on the animation duration. After I open the animation pane, in SVC, just the animations are already 10 seconds long. So probably the outro is even longer because the outro will only end when the video ends playing. And if the video would have five minutes, it will play for five minutes straight. So let me go to home, select and go to selection pane. I select the videos, media one and two, and check out how long actually they are. Going to the video tools up here, selecting playback, I can go on the, on the left side to trim video. Trim video shows me the exact duration of the video and you have to remember this. If you do your outro, make it that way that both videos will have the same duration. This is also the reason why we did fade in those two, two videos exact in the same time. Because if for example you would like to have the second video fade in a little bit after the first, you would have to count everything. Uh, so the left video has, has 15 seconds, so the right video is appearing one second later, so it should be one second less, and you would have to make the second video 14 seconds. If you want to count that, it's perfectly okay. But if you are lazy like I was now, just fade it in in the same moment and make the duration absolutely the same. Since nine seconds, and I guess the second video is also very short, yeah, it has 10 seconds. I would like to have a bit more, for example, 15 seconds. So what you can do is select loop until stopped. And now I select the first video and also press loop until stopped. And instead then relying on the animations, I simply go to transitions and I want the first slide. It fades in half a second. Then I would like it to proceed to advance after 15 seconds. So now the whole outro will have 15 seconds, half a second of them fade in and one second of the fade out. Maybe to make it a little bit easier, I will make the fade in one second. So let us make it together 20 seconds. I just go to 18 and now we have 18 seconds of the intro, one second fade in, and one second fade out. You know, and I also don't like the comp as I see it now, and I'll just select the zoom. It looks much better. All right. Before we proceed to exporting it as a video, let me quickly recap what I did say. Normally, when the videos will be longer, for example, one minute, two minutes, and this is the most case when you add YouTube videos here, you don't have to mind the transitions. You will, you will just check after zero seconds. You only work with the transitions, not with the animation, when the videos are really short, like five seconds, seven seconds. I have here 10 seconds and this would be okay, but I, I wanted to show you how to make the outro 20 seconds long. If the videos would be longer, I wouldn't mind. I would just do after zero seconds. I would select media one, playback, trim, trim it to about 20 seconds. Let's say this is now 20. I would select the second video, also trim it, make it the same duration. Let's say this is also 20 seconds here long and okay. And now selecting the second slide, this is very important. On every slide, always when you render to video, you'll have to check after zero not on mouse click because else this will cause some problems. So this is a very quick recap on how to edit the timing of the presentation. Let us proceed to the next lesson where we will render the final video.